Uh, home sweet home. Hello again. Oh, hi! Sein Beina. <clears throat> Sein Beina. Hello, no, Kerne. See, I brought your bowl. Cleaned it up, too. We, Katanga, never swindle one another. I hope it does talk one day. So you say it will warn me of danger. It will, no, Kerne. You believed me, and for that you will be rewarded. Mother Boro and Suok be my witness. Bayarla, Kayala, thank you. I'll call it Lucky Find. So, got anything to say? Cara Bosoli, got any surprises in store for me? How long do I need to wait? I shake your head at least. I hope you're not about to talk just yet. I guess I should give you a name. <gasps> no care. Yes. Partner. I'll call you no care, partner, so that you won't let me down, Kayala. Yes, it suits you. No care. Partner. Uh, I'm so happy to have my bow! And I got my gun. I got my gun, gun. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got my gun, gun, gun. My gun, gun, gun. Hi kids. Cool. Hate to break it to you, big fella, but we don't just let people in. I'm here to speak to Khan. Khan? What do you want with him? Important business. We know if he wanted to see you. Know why you're all grown up? Because you forgot how to lie. There's an art to it. I'm not getting in, am I? Those are the rules. The tower is all ours. No adults allowed. So the tower is chock full of kids. We got some space left. There's only 700 of us. Holy shit. Are you sure it won't fall? You're asking too many questions. To hell with these games. Tell Khan I said hi. I can't reach him. Now lend me your eyes and ears. We trust you, so we'll let you in on the game. Whoa, sounds important. Very much so. We've never ever allowed an adult into the great game. It's forbidden. You'll be the first. Or rather, the second. Believe me, we wouldn't invite you if not for the first one. What first one? The one. The one everyone's after. The person who's... Well, the old man. I mean, your father. I mean, you know. Have you, like, seen them? We've seen whatever they left in our game, that's enough. What game? So let me explain. We have these caches, lots of them, all over the town. That's where we leave messages and gifts for one another. It's a test of intuition. If you find one, you get to the next level. It also tests greed. Whoever takes items without giving anything in return gets kicked out. But that's not important. Not what you should be thinking about. What should I be thinking about then? The murderer left some items tonight from the old man, bloody something, and a scary note saying they know we'll try to catch him, that we're reading it, that they see all. It shook me in my boots. Where did you find those items? There are two caches nearby, the dam and the browsprit. Bowsprit. Go and you'll see for yourself. Only if you take from a cache, leave something too. Respect the rules, or it'll go south. I do respect rules. I will follow them. The players are already gathered here in the stone yard. Next to the caches, I mean. 
Um, they've already been to the middle town and the earth. Maybe they found something there too. I believe three parties are already here. They might know more, but I don't know where they are. I've been standing here waiting for you to pass by like an idiot. Alright, let's play. Children's stash. Should keep my eyes peeled. That children's voice. That was so strange. Is there a way to hear it again? It's so weird. So that's what he looks like. Behold, folks. So here's what we want you to know. Don't let yourself think we'd let you in on the game just because you're pretty. No one's happy that we had to do it. Got it? No one knows you yet. And if you spill the beans to any grown-up, you'll mess it all up. Got it? Have you found anything? Go to the gut. You'll find a cache there in the boulders, next to a threshing machine. Just be sneaky, alright? Don't let anyone see you. Got it? Will you calm down, you distrustful chipmunk? Hmm. Creepy. Perfect. Uh, fuck. Ugh, I guess I'll have to spend a bandage. That's shitty. <coughs> I wonder if there's a way to win the children's games. I had a really, like, I played the game twice and I couldn't figure out a way to, to play it, to do anything. So... No food, no sleep. I seek a treat. Huh? Hi, kids. Tread lighter, will you? Or you'll wake up the mistresses. Victoria would be fine, but what if you disturbed Nina? Didn't I'm here about the caches. Yeah, we know. Sleepyhead told us you were in. Here's one cache. We found, we found odd things inside. Play well, will you? Don't let us down. How do you even play this game? It's a game of trust. We'll figure it out as you play. And we'll figure you out. Everyone's wondering what the old man's replacement will be like. Fair enough. We sometimes get together in a nutshell. It's like a place. We go there in the evening, in the morning, even at noon. All in all, we come and go as we please. If you get a lead, go to the nutshell, will you? You'll find someone there, eh? Eh. Begin to change. What's this? A lantern. Oh, the lanterns. That's where the cache is. Ooh. Boop.
Another fish? Mm, sure. I'm gonna stack some fish. Oh, hi. Do you have fresh nuts? We can trade them for rare ones. Trading nuts for nuts? Now that's profitable. You're so dense. We've already heard all these walnuts and chestnuts have to say. So now we can barter them away. The new is always more interesting. And what did they have to say? They told us that we can find schmouders in this very yard. We call it the powder bag. Boka and Turochka used to live here. They were the schmouder makers. Where are they now? They grew up and left. A long time ago. No one's been making new schmouders for a while now. The old stock is all we have left. So we're hunting them down. What are these schmouders good for? They're like... Powders. Very valuable. We'll later trade them for needles or a knife. Can I have one? Or see one, at least? How about we play hide and seek? We'll look for powders and you'll look for us. Well, alright. You're it. Turn around so that you don't see us and count to five. Then seek. Okay, ready or not. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I turned around though. Kids everywhere. I don't really get it. Okay. Well, I guess no hide and seek for me. <laughs> okay. Can I move? The day is over. The end draws ever closer. A new pantomime is rehearsed at the theater. Hmm. I can work miracles. I just lay hands on a person and they, you know, if they had cancer or a tumor or something in the blood. I'm not very good with terms, but God loves me. Three years ago, a cure for typhoid was found. Four years ago for the Blue Death. A year ago for a strain of smallpox. Science is all powerful. Local medicine can do a lot. Although, while studying, I started to see it as backwards, but it did work at times. Well, satisfied with your boasting? Trying to impress each other like little kids? Unbelievable. Enough with this ridiculous meeting, you bunch of quacks. No type of medicine will help you here. Uh-oh, skis. Ooh, did that item... Did that item shop is right by here. Very close by. Hello. Hmm. Nothing too great, not gonna lie. Um, but the canned food is nice. Um, okay, at least the canned food. Two. Egg! Okay. 
Oh, hi, kid. Look alive, brothers and sisters. This is this one is in cahoots with Notkin's crew. So, tell me, old man, which side are you really on? I'm on my own. What do you even want, huh, big man? Have you come to drag us home? Tough luck. We're going home when we want to, and not a minute earlier. As I see it, there's a fight brewing here. What's the problem, kids? That's our great conflict, old man. The soul and a half see our tower as the root of all evils, and we can't live without it. The tower makes people into super people. The soul and a halves would rather become mindless pets. So if they want to be beasts, why are you the ones wearing the dog masks? For a good reason. These masks remind us that we're still beasts, and the true humans inside us are yet to come out. They can't see well, are almost deaf, and speak only in gibberish. Lots of room left for growth. And what's with the fourth on one? Four on one. First off, it's four on one and a half. He does have half a soul more than ordinary folk. Second, we're not here to kick his ass. They're the ones keen on bashing us with clubs and worse. Us, we're a peaceful bunch. We fight only in self-defense. Why did you drive him up there like a cat up a tree? We're teaching him discipline. He should get used to heights. You don't mind if I go upstairs and talk to him too, do you? Go ahead. Who is stopping you? See for yourself. The higher you go, the better it gets. I find the down below no less fascinating. Pfft, yeah, right. Have fun with all the stiffs and maggots around you. That's not all there is. Oh, that's the four on one. And there's the kid. God, why is the music suddenly fighting? So what did they tell you? Will they beat you if you get down? The hell if I know. Do you need help? We'll manage on our own. As you wish. That's alright. All will be quiet when we gather at the station this evening. That's our no man's land. A good place. Yeah, I've heard. Stop prying. Grown-ups are not welcome where we gather. You ruin everything. I'll just speak with one eye. What? Did the guy... Is the guy seriously going to run after me up the stairs? Are you serious? You can't be serious. Jesus. Jeez, Louise. You didn't see anything, kids. Did I see anything here? What the hell am I doing? Oh. oh I can't loot this guy or they'll know. Oh, but he has a bullet on him. Ooh. I think the nutshell is here. And the station. Clara. That's such a lovely sight. I like seeing it. Just Clara hanging out with the kids. Hmm. Guess no luck for me then.
Hi, girls. As a matter of fact, there's no matter nor fact. You've interrupted a difficult conversation. I think you should leave. What are you doing here? Parlaying. It's our business. I'd like to know more. I understand there are things you want to know. You think we might tell you if you ask right, but we won't. Not now. You're an interloper. Fine, I'm leaving then. Where do our dead go? Out. Now. How rude. One more word from you and everything will break. I told you to get lost. Are you stupid? No, I heard you loud and clear. Creepy place, not gonna lie. Is a hand a hand? Or is it just the fingers? Or the prints themselves? So why did you interrupt our argument? What's it to you? There used to be two mistresses, right? Nina and Victoria. One burned, the other soothed. Nina died, so Katerina replaced her. Then Victoria died and Katerina was torn apart. Now there are no more mistresses. The town is unprotected. Do you follow? I do. Nina and Victoria are dead. Katerina isn't capable. So their daughters are coming into power. There have always been two mistresses. Now there are three of us. That's too many. Only one will remain. Do you get just how important that is? And the lucky one will be you, of course. Perhaps. Maybe I should go back to them and tell them of your good intentions. Listen carefully, Burak. Look at me. I will make it so that you can only talk to people when it doesn't interfere with my plans. This is your first warning. If you get in my way again, I'll take your speech away completely. Got it? Well, now I'll go back and talk to the girls just to spite you. I love meddling with the future. Oh, so you don't believe me? Be my guest. Go back and talk to the girls then. Or try to. You're a funny girl. Hey, kids. White, yellow, red, blue, green. What are you kids doing? Train summoning. Is it working? There's too few of us. Not enough power. Do you all call at once or take turns? Why do you ask, Uncle Hunchback? Oh, and you're so huge. Like a giant. Can I help? Actually, you are really big. Maybe you can help. Do you know how to train summon? I used to, but it's been a while. Look, first you have to wish really, really hard for it to come. Can you do that? Well, I can try. Next, you have to give it a name. It needs to be an adjective, so that it'll be adjacent. Got it? Um, inevitable. Last, find the dead end of a railroad. The southernmost one that goes into the step and curves a bit. Stand there and think real hard about how it needs to come soon, and call it by the name you held in your mind. Will you? Perhaps I'll try. Later. Two weeks later already, and I'm waiting for a wonderful parcel. Candy? Nope. Stamps. And my daddy's packed a cap from the war. Well, sounds cool. Racing train. Fast, faster, fastest train. Speedy. Lightning quick. Uh, immediate. Uh, I guess I'm choosing the wrong names. For the train? Try swearing. <laughs> the utmost... Hmm. Should we try train summoning? The southernmost... It's probably this one. Should we go try to train summon? I think there's an achievement for that. I 
I mean, what the hell? Southernmost, that's what I think they said. And nothing. Well, I got an achievement. <laughs> That's so cruel. Just to have, you know, you think that the train is actually gonna come. And then nothing. Oh, I remember this place. Reminds me of the ending, the nocturnal ending. Wow, it's so beautiful here. Who are you? Oh, that's a bandit. Let's try our gun out on him. There he is. Nice! An egg. Marbles. Marbles are good. Um, what should I exchange them for? Nothing's worth it. I guess no marbles for me. And no more bullets for me either. Saba will teach us. She knows the way. She speaks to Earth. Mother Bodo talks to us through her. What if she interprets it wrong? You know how it can be. Impossible. It's not religious, just wisdom. Mundane advice. Heart will tell if she's wrong, certainly, but Saba rarely is. Oh, so she does make mistakes after all. She knows our traditions. We have long been oppressed. Now we face extinction. We forget our language, our crafts and arts. The art of talking to earth, the language of herbs, the craft of lines. She's the wise as well. What advising do you need? Not a simple one. That wasn't an offer, by the way. I'm a bad advisor. I have a question for our mother. There's little time left before it all ends. When it happens, would I be allowed to spare the lives of those who trusted me and called themselves friends? Would I be allowed not to kill them? When what happens? When the kid flood the town? When the step consumes the streets and houses? What shall I do to people then? Are you all nuts? Just leave people alone. I want to ask Saba. Will our brothers and sisters be allowed to marry? The kin are, well, kin. We're all children of Bodo, and there's so few of us left. Marry the townsfolk, that's the only way to survive. We're too different. That's the idea. But that doesn't matter. When the kin swallow the town, there'll be neither wives nor children. And you'll become the kin's last generation. And the kid flood the town. Seems like Saba's got big plans. Oh shit. 
this guy is clearly sick. I would ask mother about self-sacrifice. She said we must sacrifice everything for our fellow kin as we prepare to flood the town. I gave everything I had, even my own entrails. Now I'm dying. Did I make the correct decision? What for? I will tell it to Saba. It's a long story. I should save my strength. You did good. I guess. Bite Karan, you're back. What say you? Who are you? Have you forgotten our faces already? We asked for your help. We wanted to be let into the warrens. I've got nothing to tell you. What about our money? Oh yeah, here it is. Have it back. How much did they give me? I mean, I'm glad that um, I, I could give the money back, at least. Oh, jeez. That's not creepy at all. What are you looking at, Saba? Stones. Hue. Hue? I can't. <laughs> Earth warm your roots, Emshen. Who are all those people, Saba? What do they want? They respect me, you see. I know not the lines, but I sense Earth. I speak to them on her behalf. They believe I am made of soil, like Shabnak Adig, though they don't call me that. They ask strange questions, Saba. Why do they come to you? I teach the truth of the kin to these people. I retell our old legends. I remind them of Burrow's will, of how the world is a body. I hear the earth and speak her will for them. I make sure they know where they came from and where they are going. A sick people, a weak people needs this. Our future hangs by a thread. I've talked to them. I suppose I did your work for you. I knew that would happen. You have done well following the lines. You think so? My answers were not the same you would have given them. They believe they come here for advice. False. They have long since made up their minds. Now only their weakness solves doubt in them. We take on the burden of that doubt. Whatever we tell them, they'll do what they think is right. Is that your idea of help? They are helping us, not the other way around. The question matters, not the answer. To the listener, not the speaker. They carry their own stories. You carry yours. Such is the truth of the lines, Tonger. The truth of the earth. I'll give this some thought. She drinks a lot of milk. What do I care? No one knows how she became herself. Suspicion and fear surround the tale of one who left the steppe. She's said to be inhuman, a doll of clay and bone. Shabnak Adig. Saba Otun's reflection. There's blood in her veins. The same can be said of Earth. So what? Those are mere legends. My master waits for her assigned time. Five years ago, during the first outbreak, Earth cast her with a secret task that must have been fulfilled back then. Are you saying that? The first outbreak was curbed by your father, however. With vicious force, he changed the flow of history. And Saba Uspte, Saba Otun, the one called Aspri by common folk, stayed behind within this world. A groomless bli bride, a blemish, lost, estranged from her true goals, believes she owes her life to Isidor, who made her, who foresaw her. What do you mean, made her? What nonsense is this? She feigns humanity quite well, and holds respect and power in the kin. She rules over this hiding place, where stepfolk can escape from being yoked within Olgimsky's cruel mill. Here they can hide, and heal, and run their midnight markets. Are there many such step people? Enough. Enough to flood the town. There will be blood. Your father, whom she worships without understanding, meant the kin to merge into the town and to make a body whole. But we cannot, and we will not. So she decided to adjust the town to the needs of the kin. She brokers work for brides and odongs, setting them up as dancers or couriers. One wonders why. 
She doesn't know what she's doing. Indeed, she is not human after all. But love does drive her like it drives you. And love is blind and foolish. Not always. I wonder if Aspiri is similar to Clara in a way. Has the earth made her? Like, literally? Hmm. I should probably save my game. And maybe sleep. Make connections. Mend everything your father has torn. Even if he was right to tear it. Oh, he's still here. Hey. Sarah is infected now. First they locked the termitary, then the murders, now the factory stopped. Unheard of. Fat Vlad would work us to death with no rest or sleep. His domain never stops. And now they're cordoning, cordoning off districts too. What's going on? I wonder myself. An emergency at the factory, I guess. And now there's some sort of poisonous suit in the air. That's what people say. We'll see what the suit is. That this, this district is locked down under Dr. Denkovsky's orders. These districts are off limits to anyone but medical personnel. Are you that Vorak guy? Now that's news. What's going on? Why is the area locked off? People say something happened at the factory. Like an emission. Toxic suit in the air. Makes your eyes water in a minute. Wouldn't be smart to go in without protection. <laughs> and what does our <laughs> and what does your beloved Dankovsky say? He says, this district is locked down and off limits to anyone but doctors. Borak allowed. Borak. He sure has memory issues, doesn't he? Immunity boosters. Two pills. Protective clothes. One unit. Here you go. Pills. Pills are good. Oh, hi. Um... What you might be doing here, miss? I'm sorry about your loss. Still, think bright thoughts. Earth takes her due, but gives in kind. Have you now remembered me? Do you remember our connection? Your dress is even more torn than before. You dance with all your energy, huh? I needed to make Earth split open, to lay your father to rest. By Arla, let Mother Boro caress your step. I'm all yours, Kirken. What is your name? So you don't remember at all? No, I honestly don't. This is what you told me once. I often dream of salt, either its taste or color, or whole salt pits, or holding some in my pinched fingers. Do you believe me now? I never told anyone about it. Even my friends. Even Lara doesn't know. Barkane, Barkane. Forget Lara. That's not why I'm following you. Why then? Eneshe, yun kun geshebesh, geshebshe. But you're not heartless. However cruel. I won't leave you. I hold no grudge against you. Just mind this. When you finally remember, when you realize why you need me, do not hold a grudge, either. Promise? I'm not the type to hold grudges. Don't send me away. We are bound, you and I. 
I am yours. Remember that, at least. All right, I'll remember. <laughs> my goal for this let's play is to upgrade my inventory all the way then I'll be satisfied Children's stash should be somewhere over here. But where exactly? Oh, there it is. Ooh, worm note. She left the nutshell. The house is ours again, crafting in the evening as usual. a bad guy. Oh. <coughs> Gotta be careful not to hit. Yes, lockpick. Oh, and they disappear. Day three, in which the alarm bell tolls. Hey kid, got something to tell me? The boss has an urgent matter to discuss with you, Master Burak. It concerns your family home. It's always urgent with everyone. Tell him I'll drop by later today. And to this, the boss told me to reply, this matter has to be resolved before sundown, otherwise you'll lose both the house and a large sum of money. Got it. Well, I think I'm right by Sabrov's place, am I not? How fares your kind, Katangar? Do you know what an Odurg is? What does the Khandro sigil stand for? A body that contains a world. Everyone knows that. Everyone but me. Bekara. It can be a creature made of many creatures. Like a family. A Taglur. A group of people bound by the same fate. I see. Our words were erased, Katangar. We returned our father's flutes into sticks. We take old words, big words, and apply them to small things. But the connection to the source is still there. The lines remember. Kayade, let Mother Boro caress your step. Home is where your friends, your tag lure, are. I wonder how Lara is doing. Okay, boss. you guys doing here? Which department are you from, pal? Cutting? In a way. That fat pig refuses to come out. Refuses even an explanation, bloodsucker. Brave words. Would you have the guts to repeat that to his face? Enough. We've been silent for too many years. And where did it get us? To the brink of starvation. Our patience runs thin. So what happened this time? The factory shut down two days ago, didn't you know? I mean, yeah, there is this suit problem, but when will it run again? How many of us will find themselves on the streets? Will anyone pay for us for that downtime, or will the payment be reduced? I can tell you right now it's the latter, and that won't feed my children. But yeah. We want at least to be told what's going on. Why is the train not coming? Why did he cork up the territory? I'll tell you why. They want it all shut down. They're just looking for an excuse to close the factory. There was no accident, and the toxic suit is a lie, a cover, a crock of shit. Um, closing the bull enterprise? I don't think so. We produce so much meat. Everyone needs to eat. 
Were you born yesterday, pal? What do you know? People are illiterate here, no fancy schools, but they still think faster than you. The state has one leg in the grave. Things are going downhill so quickly we can't even end this bloody war. It won't end well. Nothing ever ends well. Are you going to see the man yourself? Tell him we ain't leaving without an answer. More people will come. We'll stay here for as long as we have to. Let the hateful pig tell us the truth. All right, I'll tell him. Hey, Vlad. There's some guys that are really unhappy with you. Uh, life is hard. <laughs> so hard. Sure, for you, I guess. Good thing you've come to visit, Master Barak. Right on time. Early bird gets the worm, indeed. The kind's plan to, plan to take away your house. Isidore's dead, God rest his soul, and his heir is on the run. The decision will be made today. Why are the kinds even involved? As you should know, the town is ruled by three families. I hold the economy, the abattoir, the factory, the station, the warehouses, known collectively as the Bull Enterprise. A silly name, but it's stuck. Sabrov upholds the peace, he handles the populace. And the kinds... The kinds build... Houses, other structures, general planning, all on them. I know this. The kind see all houses, including yours, as cogs in a machine. They might decide to demolish it, or do something else entirely. The late Simon Kine was close to your father. One could say they were friends. Opposites truly do attract. Well, yes, they do. So what do I do? Go see the judge, that is. Georgie Kine. Oh, the judge, that is, Georgie Kine. With his brother Simon dead, he is in charge. Go to him and assert your claim. Hurry. Georgie wakes at dawn and never takes back decisions. That's just how he is. Thank you, boss. I do want the house. I want the money that comes with it. But I'm gonna save and end for now. Yeah. Alright. See you.